I have been using Topaz Denoise and Sharpen AI to well, denoise and sharpen some of my images in the past. And now Topaz announced a new product, it's called Photo AI. And it should be the new kind of autopilot for image editing or enhancing, also including some of the functions of Gigapixel AI, which is for enlarging the pictures. And I downloaded the beta version and I wanted to try it a bit out, test it with three different images and show you a bit the workflow and also the results and kind of discuss what I think about the software because it has some severe drawbacks and who I think it could still be useful for. As I mentioned, I want to edit three pictures in this video. One of the pictures which has some noise problems, the other one that is kind of blurry because there was some camera movement and maybe also a defocusing. And the third one was one that I took several years ago with a 7D that was not even mine and a 100 to 400 millimeter lens. And it's showing a fox that just caught, um, I forgot the English name, is it Osl? No, but uh, some, some bird. A uh, chick and you can see that two parents on the other side of the picture and it's a bit dramatic I like the picture for this scene but it's not the best quality so here I was hoping I could maybe enlarge it a bit so these are basically the three different pictures and I want to start with this ibex here that I shot at 12,800 ISO and therefore it's a bit uh, noisy so what I'm doing is just editing it directly in photo AI and I'm sorry, some of my interfaces in German, but you will see in a second that at least Photo AI, which this video is about, is in English. So it's loading up here and you can already see the interface is somehow similar to other Topaz software. On the left you have quite big the image with a preview, which I will enhance to 200% to have a bit of better overview. And then here you have this autopilot section that is kind of new. So it's now going through different steps. It's looking for subjects. It's trying to detect faces, which I can already predict you. It will fail because there is no human face. And then it will check how bad the noise level are, how the sharpness is, that it can kind of determine whether it should rather suggest to sharpen or denoise the image. And all of this takes a while. And afterwards, there are the different AI filters. There is the face recovery, which has this small lock because we cannot use it since no face has been detected. And then there is the um, removing noise parameter that got activated now automatically because up here in the autopilot section, um, the program tells me that the noise level is severe in this image. The sharpen is not activated because it says it's already in focus. And I think that's it. If we go over here, you can see how it's detecting the subject. So not too bad. Um, now at the moment, it's uh, applying the filters and making the preview. This is as with all of the Topaz software, it takes a while and you can see it removed all of the noise. Uh, but unfortunately, I think it also removed some of the details. So what you can still do here is toggle a bit the settings. So I will re reduce the strength to one. So you see even with one, it's still quite strong. Um, a bit too strong for my taste, but that's all we can do now. So I will save the image, overwrite the original file. Um, this ma is not always what you want to do, but since I created a copy for this edit, uh, I want to override it and then in Capture One I can, it's already in the catalog and I can continue editing it from there. So I was editing the other two pictures in a similar fashion, just I was once activating the upsizing module and once the sharpening. And let's check now the results. Let's start with the Ibex here. On the left we see the original with quite some noise and honestly also some color noise. In the middle is the image how I would have edited it usually with Topaz Denoise. And we can see that almost all of the noise is done. Detail is still quite well preserved, I would say. And on the right, there is Photo AI. And there is no noise at all in Photo AI, no doubt. But also there, there is really a lack of details. I mean, for me, the worst part is not even over the nose where we see there's a bit of detail missing. It's somehow the horns of the, of the eye bags. 
where it just looks artificial to me like a like a, I don't know like kind of a filter that was overlaid in Photoshop or something and I'm not super happy with this result and as you saw this was already the minimum setting that I could activate in photo AI so no way to make this any weaker so here for me the clear winner is still the Topaz Denoise there is just more options you can set in Denoise compared to photo AI which gives you more flexibility and if we jump to the second one this uh, rough that it was taking off you can see again left the original that is to be fair quite blurry in the middle the result with sharpen ai and on the right hand side photo ai and here if we look rather on the left side so around the neck i have the feeling the sharpen ai and photo ai are doing a quite similar job but if we look a bit more closely around the head i feel that sharpen ai somehow manages to recover more detail and you can also see that on the photo ai there is a bit more of noise levels um, maybe I should have activated the denoising as well, but I wanted to only activate the sharpen module. I mean, I only used in the middle one the sharpen AI, which is just applying a bit of denoise as well. So I think here the winner is sharpen AI, even though I need to say the sharpening from my experience mostly comes with some small artifacts. And we can also see this here around the the eye of the bird in some feathers it doesn't look completely natural but that's to be expected and i think it's still better than the original picture finally the upsizing of the image um, on the left again the original and in the middle we can see that gigapixel was doing quite a good job to recover some of the details that i would not have imagined is possible um, around the face of the fox the image looks really good to me also in the ears the small hair just on the on the back of the fox or around the belly to be more precise i feel like we can see some small artifacts appearing not bad but we can start to see them and if we move to photo ai the the face of the fox looks more refined with even more detail but the artifacts on the back also get stronger so and also in the rocks we can start to see some artifacts so I think again here I would pr prefer the result of Gigapixel AI even though here for me it is not as clear as in the two examples before. So what's my conclusion? Actually I was hoping that Photo AI could combine the best of Denoise, Sharpen AI and Gigapixel and it's somehow not and I think I just misunderstood the program in this sense. It seems to be designed to be a, like an autopilot that it's really quickly um, allowing you with in, within one program to deal with several issues but it has less parameters that you can tune it's doing it quite aggressively so overall i still prefer the um, three programs mostly i use denoise and sharpen ai and for you if you really want to get the best out of your image quality i would also think about just getting the image quality bundle um, i put an affiliate link below so if you buy it over this link I, uh, you support me a bit, but I would highly recommend it just to download the programs and you can test them for free for 30 days with no credit card required. So definitely do that before you buy them. That's it for today. I hope this small review or test was useful for you. And let me know if you would like to have a more in-depth tutorial about Denoise Sharpen AI in the future.